Steve, August Volta, Clor Community Focus. Hello and welcome to the Community Focus programme. This programme is sponsored by Ethan's of Main Street Cavan and Pear Street Mullingar. This programme is dedicated to all things community in County Cavan. If you would like to comment on the show or have your community initiative or issue featured, please email drumlinmedia at gmail.com or contact us via our Facebook or Twitter pages. Now, there has been lots going on in Cavan um, over the last month and there's lots happening as well in November. And joining me to talk about it, this is our monthly events slot guide, um, we have Yasmin Maserani from ContemporaryLiving.e. Yasmin, you're very welcome. Thank and thanks you. for coming back in again this month to let us know what, well, I suppose, first of all, we'll talk about what's happening or what has happened in Cavan, yeah. because October was quite an eventful month and I suppose the start of November as well with the Taste of Cavan. Yeah. So if, if you go back over some of the events, that some of the highlights of this month of October and where do you start? <laughs> could be well, here it, forever. It, it was jam packed, wasn't, wasn't it? it? Really, I mean, so much on. You know, when you think that we had the highlight of the flower in August, and people mm. thought, what What's going to happen? What are we going to do with ourselves? And mm. really, we've had event after event since. I mean, mm. one of the highlights we have to mention, obviously, is the Pumpkin Festival, which yes. was just tremendous, wasn't it? Absolutely, and I think it's become, um, you know, a real you know, known festival, well, very well recognised festival now, yeah. and well known across the whole country. Yeah. It's not just Cavan, and it's not just people from Cavan that are going to the Pumpkin Festival now. It's that's it. you know, it's an awful lot of people from outside of the county that are attending it. Yeah, and when you and I think they said there's around twenty thousand people there over the weekend, which is incredible, really. And the the fact that they offered something for whether it was kids or for adults, there was a great mixture of events all over the weekend, and they kept everything really reasonably priced. So I must say, I just Credit to the, the organising committee themselves, having the music in the dome, and they had Garth Brooks one evening and Hot House Flowers another evening, so obviously that appealed to a certain crowd. The Family Fun Day on the Sunday was just really great, with the busking in the streets, live uh, puppet show, lots of activities, obviously the Pumpkin Weigh-In, which is always such a big event, mm. and obviously that's where the, the festival takes its name from massive pu- pu- pumpkins in the size did you see the winning pumpkin oh gosh i mean i i just couldn't, i think where do people grow these these pumpkins i know and actually how do they get it over here yes <laughs> it was from switzerland wasn't yeah, it i think that's right so you know i just think you know do they put them into containers How, what what do they what do they actually do i think the cost of transporting yeah. them over must be phenomenal exactly and of course the worry if they're damaged in it in any way as well yeah so of after course. a year of trying to, to nurture and cultivate something like that. I'm not sure. What is the prize for? Do, do, do you know what the oh, prize is? Oh, I don't is? know. You're no. putting me on the spot. But Sorry, oh, yes. I, 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 don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I just, I just think it's a fabulous event. And certainly for next year at the Gathering 2013, I think there's so much potential really to develop it even further. And as you say, there's such a great uh, response to it sort of nationwide already. So it's a great idea. But then, of course, you know, we can't forget the fireworks display, mm-hmm. which was at the, the shores of Loch Rama. which it's I always fabulous think fabulous overlooking the, the lake, wasn't it? Exactly. The reflection of the fireworks in the lake. It's exactly. Fabulous. So it's such a spectacular way to sort of to, to end the weekend, of course. Mm-hmm. And again, you know, 10 euros for an adult for, for, the, for the Sunday, for everything on the Sunday and free admission for children. I, get, I thought that was really nice to be very price conscious and to keep it very reasonable for everybody. Yeah, no, it was a very well run organised event and look forward to next year's Pumpkin Festival as well. Absolutely. <laughs> and then, of course, we have to mention Taste of Cavern, which again was phenomenal, mm-hmm. which was just, uh, was it last Thursday? Yeah, last Thursday, the 1st yes. of November. And we had live streamed on Cavern TV. Yes. So people can catch up, obviously, on the mm-hmm. internet if they did miss anything exactly. because there was so much going on during the day. It was. There was so much free food. I mean, yes, it was unbelievable. <laughs> Somebody could be fed. They say there's no such thing as a free lunch. Well, there was in Cavan well, uh, <laughs> last yes, week. It's, yeah. yeah, and I just thought the organisers again need to be congratulated. Unbelievable. I think it was, it was mainly Paddy Connachton, wasn't it? And, That's um, right. Um, Magella Tierney. Magella Tierney, yeah. Yeah. Main organisers, but I mean, there's a lot of people involved. Marion Smith and obviously Jackie. Sure. You know, that was absolutely brilliant. Really, really well run event. Was. And I was up there just I suppose between six and so I just couldn't believe the crowds that were there yeah. trying to get yeah. a parking space and everything else was just oh it was like that all day I yeah. got there for about two so I was there for an hour an hour and a half but I thought gosh you know cabin time it won't start on time yeah. I'll easily get a parking space and I was parked up by Quinn Direct 
well, so, sorry, it's not Culpin Direct anymore, is it? Uh, yeah, Liberty. Liberty Insurance, <laughs> yes. But um, I, I just thought, my goodness. And it was like that for the, for the whole day. Yeah, it really was absolutely packed. I think there were 64 exhibitors. Yeah. There. So it just shows you what wonderful food producers mm-hmm. that we've got in the county. And I don't think Cavan's always recognised for the quality of food quality of suppliers that we have we have here Mm -hmm. and i think you know that put any doubters you know that you know that's really focused on the quality product that we have here you know and it it can compete with ireland and and the the rest of the world really we had everything there i mean i saw i chatted to a couple of uh of the 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 producers there one was um oeg i don't know whether you managed to to see their stand oeg I'm not sure what were they. They're the largest free range um, producers yes. of eggs in the whole of Ireland. So Very they're good. based in Muller. So I just thought, you know, these are untold stories Absolutely. from the county. Yeah. Just, just remarkable. It was great for people to have that opportunity to showcase. Yeah. You know what what's going on in the county and the quality of the food here. Exactly. I mean, I always thought though, Cavan had really good restaurants. Yes. When I moved here, and when I used to just be calling, uh, you know, coming up here to visit, I just thought huge great selection of restaurants in the county yes there are there are mm. and you know considering the recession that they've, they've they've kept going i suppose that's testament to the quality of the food that they offer um mm. and the expertise of their chefs as well but yeah, the, you did a number of chefs as, from yes. cavan as well yes that were um with nevin mcguire that well of course well known the celebrity chef yes of course <laughs> from county cavan and um there was Gerhard the old Lynch, post. wasn't there, yeah, from the, 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 the old, the old post. Posting. Yeah. And then there was a French chef, I think Philippe, he's based at the, Ra- the Radisson. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So they all did their, their showcases and their cookery demonstrations. Mm. So I thought that was what made it really nice. There was the exhibitors and then there was all the demonstrations as well. And then, of course, there was the MC for the day, Ella McSweeney from RTE. And yeah. she really held, held the whole day together, didn't she? She was the, yes, the MC, of course, in yeah. the day. Yeah, and it was fantastic. There was so much on. There was so I think it had started with a breakfast grill, didn't it? That's and then right. um the skills competition. Did oh, you yes. see any of the skills competition? I, I wasn't did. there for that because it was yes. during the day. Yeah. yeah, and again they had Catherine Layden from T V three. So Cele- really, another celebrity chef. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah. really high profile people at the event. And Which I just great. thought it was yeah, exactly. It was great. And for these people to want to come to Cavern and to just, you know, to, to celebrate with, with the rest of us, you know, how great the food is. I just thought that was fantastic. She was really nice. I had a chat to her in amongst her judging. Yeah. So and was she, there many secondary schools involved in that competition? Well, they said it was the schools from Cavern. So, yes. um, I mean, I, I was watching the Loretto girls who looked very proficient uh, cooking away there. Mm-hmm. On the, they put anybody to shame. They were, ve- they were very confident on the, on the stage. But uh, obviously, you know, they were watching how they measure their ingredients, their, their cooking methods, how organised they were. So certainly Catherine and the other judges were, were really scrutinising the way mm-hmm. they were going on. So I yeah. thought, gosh, it, was, it looked like a tough competition. Yeah. Right. And who won? Who were I the don't winners? Know. It was the Royal School, was it? I'm not sure, actually. Mary Yao was the Royal School. Oh, so. gosh. Well done to them. Yeah, well done. Yeah. I don't know what they what they got. <laughs> well, do you know what? Who knows? Pro- we probably could... just the the name. Well, that's it. <laughs> exactly. It wasn't as good as anything. And maybe we've got yeah. more celebrity chefs in, in the, in in the, the making. Co- yes, exactly. <laughs> Great. Here in Cavan. And the fact that also the Minister of Agriculture came Sam again. Coveney, yes. So again, I just thought it was wonderful and such a feat for the, you know, as you say, for Paddy Connaughton to draw all these people together and for them to come on one particular day to Cavan. I just thought it, it was marvellous, really. And of course, there was 48 new jobs announced with Simon Coveney. He announced them yes. there on the day with Carton Brothers. Yes. Um, which is fantastic. It is. So, you know, it's nice to have some positive news, mm-hmm. something really positive and uplifting to talk about. Well, that was a really positive day. Exactly. A really positive event. It was. And I think it's just phenomenal to have 64 exhibitors. Yeah. You know, from the county. And yeah. Um, they, I think the quality of the food and the selection was a little, a lot of very tr- diverse food and exactly. award winning food, of course. You had the Barry John sausages, you That's know, which it. won national awards and but Anya's chocolates of Anya's course. chocolates yeah, yeah which are known I mean I know she's, she sells across in the UK and further afield so you know mm. Cav- Cavan is certainly getting its name on the map absolutely and then you'd Lakeland Dairies there they're doing all the yeah. ice cream for That's Super right. Value and I couldn't believe the range of products that they're actually making yeah very very surprised yeah huge number of products and it was it was actually good very very good to be able to see that it was it mm. really was and I just thought there was a lot of cooperatives and and 
individual entrepreneurs and you can mm. see that that local farmers have, have diversified and come up with interesting ideas for for, for, for for either you know selling products like chicken directly to the supermarkets and stuff like that so i just thought it was really nice to see this entrepreneurial spirit mm. and to see that you know success basically everywhere you turned it was another success story yeah so it's really positive and there was like from the very small producers yes you know to, to the larger producers yeah. and of course you know, I'm sure not not everyone was there. You no. know, the county has even more to, to offer, and that's it. It's even the, here here. You know, on a Friday morning at the egg market. Yes. You know, all that there is to offer, that's and all right. the great quality food. That's right. And the Saturday morning markets as well down at McCarran's. So. So it bodes well for the future, and I think Absolutely. it bodes well for local jobs really, because all of these people they're processing food, they're producing their own food. So of course they're going to need people on production lines to be packing. Mm to be you know rearing animals all this sort of stuff and even food science further down the line to be developing products so i think there's there's great potential in the county in the food sector it could become the culinary hub of ireland well why not <laughs> I mean, let's certainly. start a campaign that's it well it felt it certainly yeah. felt like it didn't it on yeah, thursday absolutely. it felt like we were we were the center of you know the food industry for ireland anyway mm. i know that taste stuff you know is done in other counties yeah but i don't know if it's, it's ever really done to the same extent as it was done in Cavan, I know it's Cavan's first year for it, yes. but they completely, they went all out. They, they went did. down the whole celebrity line and very high profile people involved. And yes. it was absolutely, as as the numbers showed on the day, it was the way to go. It was. And of course, you know, we've got to remember that, that all the food was for sale on the day. So as you say, but you could certainly have fed, for, fell, fed like a king for, for the day because there were so many free samples, but everybody mm. was selling the produce. So hopefully, again, all the exhibitors there did very well and brought a few mm. pounds in the pockets home in the evening i'm sure they did yeah with, with that volume of people that was there yeah. and i spoke to a number of retailers you know and individuals who were there on the day and the feedback was excellent yeah. like they they were all really really happy with the day and yeah it was very well organized and very surprised again with the huge crowds that were there yes. and yeah really seemed to run without you know any major task fair you know the no. would just run it ran so smoothly exactly the whole day. Yeah. exactly and i and it bodes well for, for the gathering for next year because mm-hmm. i know paddy connerton is is one of the key the key players um sort of be, behind the gathering and this community movement that's coming together in cavern so i think if he can um help put together an event like that we've got nothing mm-hmm. to worry about for, for, for the series of events that are going to be created and, and organized here in the county for mm-hmm. next year i think that maybe the FLA has has encouraged everyone and given everyone a little bit of positive attitude and yes, a can-do attitude that's it exactly that we've realized that here we can we can do something better and bigger than anybody else and mm-hmm. why not absolutely yeah <laughs> Right, we'll take a short break. Um, Yasmin, I think that's we'll we'll we we'll leave it at that. Um, and we'll focus then after the break on what is what's going to happen, if anything can top <laughs> October and and the start of November. So we'll just take a short um ad break now. Pat Short here. You're watching Cavan TV. Welcome back. And now we're going to talk about what's happening in Cavan in the month of November and I suppose the start of December. Yes. Again, 
plenty on, isn't there? There is. I mean, as always, it's difficult to make a selection. So I've mm-hmm. chosen a few free events because I think that's important to put that into the mix. And then a couple, sort of diverse things to just appeal to a variety of different people. Mm-hmm. Um, the first thing I thought that was worth mentioning is there's a series of free creative writing classes that are going on. And, you know, there's, there's a wealth of writing talent here in the county. Mm-hmm. And I just think there's lots of people out there that might be thinking about, you know, you know writing them as they say everyone's got a book in them there's lots of people who may be thinking oh gosh I'd like to write something I don't know where to start yeah. well this is something where they don't have to commit financially because it's a free course and it only runs for six weeks so again with a short period of time is it full time for six weeks or once no, a day no it's or? it's uh, once a week there's two sessions so mm-hmm. you can either ch- opt for Wednesday mornings or right. you can opt for Wednesday evenings I'm not okay. sure whether you can mix and match the, the times, but it, it is... Right, being... so anyone working could avail of it if they, if they can Ex- do the evening part. Exactly. Yeah. So the the Wednesday classes run from 10am till 1pm. That's in the Bridge Street Centre here in Cavan Town. Mm-hmm. And then Mon- the first one was today. That will run mm-hmm. for six weeks. And then the Monday session starts this Monday, the 12th of November, and run from 6.30 to 9.30pm. So they're being facilitated by a writer called Susie Minto and it's being run by Culture Cavern, which is being funded by the International Fund for Ireland. Okay. So there's a lot yeah, of I sort of it. writing workshops and arts workshops that are free mm-hmm. that are being run through the arts office in Cavern Town as a result of this fund Indeed. or this pot of money. Yeah. So I just think it's a fantastic opportunity great for, lo- for local people absolutely and to have that for free yeah so exactly great opportunity it is for a, anybody it is a great yeah. opportunity so i just thought that was definitely worth a mention mm-hmm. then sort of talking about local talent and writing talent i wanted to mention the uh, mill race mill race drama are presenting trad which is written by mark doherty and directed by liam daly so they're two local yeah. guys it was first shown at the summer festival in baileyborough so it's a really funny play and it went down really well during the summer festival, mm-hmm. so I'm sure tickets will sell very quickly. This is on the 15th and 16th of November at the Rama Theatre. Okay. And basically, it sounds it's a very bizarre plot, but it's two main characters, one mm-hmm. called Dar and his son Thomas, who's supposedly 100 years old. The son is 100 years supposedly. old? Supposedly. So when they say it's a satirical and funny, I should imagine that it is very <laughs> funny, but they, that's the, the two main characters. So mm. apparently they find out about a long lost grandson, and <laughs> right. so the story is 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 is, is uh, surrounds the, the that the pre- that premise. So right. um, it's it sounds very interesting. Absolutely. So if you want a few laughs, you haven't seen us yourself yet. No, yeah, I no. haven't. But I'm sure the tickets will because it's written by local people. I think it, it, it will sell out, sell out very quickly. Absolutely. And how much are the tickets? The tickets are 16 or 14. So the concessions are 14. Okay. So reasonably priced. And concessions is for old age pensioners. Old age pensioners and students. students as well. Yeah. Very good. And then another thing, again, talking about, you know, success stories and, and local produce, I thought the Cavern um, Christmas Craft Fair is definitely worth a mention. Oh, yes. That's yeah. this Sunday. That's this Sunday? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, it's scarily it's only 42 mm. days or so to christmas i don't know whether i should really should, be mentioning should be that a bit word. Of christmas music oh, here in gosh, the background <laughs> but you know people yeah. are always wondering what should i buy you know ha- what do you buy somebody's got everything mm. well the cavern christmas fair is organized by cavern monaghan crafts so it's all local producers based here in the region that have pr- produced high quality um craft handcrafted products mm. so you know if it's something unique and different and to support local producers it's a great way to spend you know the money that you've allocated for christmas presents absolutely and you get something different there that's the thing exactly and it's always mm. such a lovely day anyway it's, it's free admission and it runs from 11 o'clock to 5 30 at the hotel kilmore so you know you can just wander in wander around and you know you're guaranteed you don't have to buy no but you're guaranteed to see things that you like yeah it's 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 always a lovely day out it's really nice so the other thing i wanted to mention another free event is a um a photographic exhibition at the johnson central library it's the second annual exhibition of calvin camera club so it runs from the 8th of november to the 22nd of november during library hours in the event space there in the library so I think that's that 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 would be really nice. I mean, mm. I, I personally, I I love the medium of photography, so I, mm. I I always whenever I get a chance, I always go to a photography exhibition. 
but it'd be so, lovely to see artwork again that's produced by local people absolutely and it's the, the a very positive county isn't it it is and <laughs> a very and also very creative county yes. and i think that's something that we often take for granted really mm. and if people are interested in the cabin camera club that runs right. every tuesday at seven o'clock um from september till may and it's for all abilities so you know if you're just a beginner right up to people who are more advanced so it, it's basically for everybody and if you want to find out you know where they meet and a little bit more about it mm-hmm. You can just email them at cabincameraclub at gmail.com. Very good. So if you're Very tempted, good. go to the exhibition, see yeah. see what it's about, and, and maybe give the, drop them an email yeah. and, 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 and do something, you know. Absolutely. Sounds great. I mean, it's great for to be able, if you have an interest in photography, you know, to it be is. able to talk to people or, yeah. you know, it's, I mean, with digital photography and just, I suppose, knowing what to do with the cameras. A lot of people have these fancy cameras and they don't know everything about them and even in what's the best light you know lighting and th- I'm sure they'll go through all that and talking to people who have an interest and in going on gr- I suppose they go out together you know and exactly exactly and, so and you know it's and again it's something that you could you know you're not um it's oh, sorry it's every second Tuesday every second Tuesday, Tuesday of the month so you're not committing yourself you mm-hmm. know to, to for, you know really it's once it's once a month and if it's something that you're interested in I think it's a great another another thing that's here in cabin that not many people are aware of um again talking about writing talent I thought we should mention um an award uh, winning poet on our doorstep Rebecca O'Connor she's the editor of the Moth magazine which is the arts magazine that's um yes. also you know nationally and internationally recognized mm-hmm. um she's launching her first collection of poems um, called Wheel Sing Blackbird on the 22nd of November. Brilliant. Where is she having that launch? So that's actually at the Moth Studios. Um, that's on 81 mm. Church, Church Street. Church Street, isn't it? Yeah. So that'll be a lovely evening. And again, to just set, to go along and to support somebody locally, a cabin based woman, on mm. a, a collection of her own poetry. So I think that'll be a really nice evening. And is that open to everyone to go? Yeah, or it's, are they it's, limited with no, space? It's, no, well, I suppose they're limited for space, but it's an open invitation and it's it's free admission. And whenever oh, they good. organise anything at the Moth, it's always really nice. It's always very welcoming and they, they, they usually have, you know, tea and cake and all that sort of stuff. So it'll be nice. Lovely. Now they've just launched a new Facebook page as well, haven't yes. they? And so they can get them on the mothmagazine.com if people want That's to, to right. look up about the, it, yeah, the if information. They want, yeah, the if they event. want further information. Yeah. Exactly. And then another thing, I suppose, staying on the arts theme is that there's, I don't know whether you were aware, but there's a film club at the Rama Theatre. Mm-hmm. So that's so again, it's for people, you know, if you if you don't necessarily want to see the blockbusters that are available, you know, at, at the Ogeon Cinema here in Cavan, mm-hmm. but there is a venue that's offering alternative um, foreign films and Irish films every Tuesday night at the Rama Theatre. That goes on every Tuesday. Yeah, they've course. got they've got two programs. They've got an autumn program which runs sort of from September through the beginning of December, and then a spring program which runs from about the third week in January right through to Easter. So they're eight o'clock every Tuesday. You don't have to become a member of the film club to go, which is great. Okay. So again, you're not committing yourself. Mm-hmm. And they're only six euros to, to go. So, so again, I think it's just really affordable and it's, it's a nice night out, something different than going to the pub, you know, so it's, it, I think it's reasonably priced. And is the list of films that will be shown available or...? Yeah, it's all on the yeah, website. So on their website. Yeah, yeah, so if you just have to look at what's, the What's On Guide on contemporaryliving.ie, so there's a short synopsis of each film. Well, you have it all on your website. Yeah, so, oh, it's, fantastic. so it's all on the website, yeah. so people can just click into the film, they'll get a short synopsis of what, of what the film's about, and obviously, um, you know, whatever you like, go along and, and see it. And, um, and do p- tickets have to be booked in advance for that? No, or you can just pay. You just, you just pay. Yeah, so that's what, that's what I really like about it. And talking to Frida Donoghue, who organises the, the film club, she said that the Cabin uh, Film Club, or the Rama Film Club, is one of the best supported um, film clubs outside of Dublin. Wow. So it's really popular. So um, again, I just think that's, that's something to mention. I think that creative writing course will be full. <laughs> we seem to have some yeah, creative. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, again, people in the county. I think we do. I th- and mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of unsung heroes in the county that's, you know, that, that, that again, need to, need to be credited, given credit. Yeah. So, yes, here I go. Yes, I know you've had them on the, um, on the community focus, mm-hmm. but I, I thought a very quick mention for the Diamond Frolics 2012 in Valley James Duff. 
which, 60 years, aren't they? That's right. The, the Jubilee, John Jubilee, yeah. So it's a tremendous achievement, isn't it? It's a 60, 60th anniversary um, for the Diamond Frolics. Well, that's why it's called the Diamond Frolics. But again, mm. it's just a musical extravaganza with sketches, uh, comedy sketches, drama mm. sketches. And it's all local people from Ballad James Duff who are getting involved that's in this production. So again go out and support um, the, the, the local community. And what are the dates for the so, products? Yeah, it's, it's got a long run. It's from the 9th to the 18th of November. There's no showing on Monday the 12th. And tickets are 13th for your adults, 7th for children. And if you do a group booking, 10 euros. So again, very affordable. How many for a group? 10, no, ten, ten in a group, on. yeah. Oh, and it's good. at St. Joseph's Hall in Ballad James Duff. Brilliant. Yeah, so that's really good. I think that uh, the frolics as well, I just go on for 60 years. Yeah. With, you know, every year I producing know. a musical. It's just phenomenal, really, isn't it? It the is. Thing. And it's just real dedication. locally, yeah. Yeah, really dedicated. And you know, when you think Ballad James Duff, it's a small town in, in the county. And mm. for them to have, you know, the, the amount of talent and the drive to, to do this every year. I mean, it's a really big undertaking, particularly for such a long run. Mm. Huge drama. I know that as well at the moment they were discussing when they were on the show um, with in the library there in Bally James Duff or oh. not the library the museum kind of yes. museum they have um, kind of the archives from the first few musicals and they're all there all those photographs are available and it's brilliant that they're put there and visually you know available well, th- for people and yeah and I think it's a really nice way to commemorate the 60th anniversary through the, through the photographs of previous um, events mm. And I'm sure it'll bring I think back memories. audio as well and videos. Yes. So some of the plays, the older ones were just, might be audio recordings available sure. of them. So they have them as well, which is lovely. It is. Yes. So that'll be another really nice day out. Something. Yeah. And then finally, I just wanted mm-hmm. to give a, a really quick mention to, there's a country club that started at the Hotel Kilmore every Saturday night. That starts at the beginning of this month. And it starts at 11 o'clock every Saturday. Admission is 15 euros. And they've just got a really big name country music stars performing at the at the Hotel Kilmore every Saturday. So just mm-hmm. to mention that the, the, the next three people, they've got Philomena Begley on the 10th, Saturday the 10th, mm-hmm. Robert Mazel on the 17th and Jerry Guthrie on the 24th of November. But they've got big acts from right now, right up till Christmas, people on Boxing Day and also on New Year's Eve. Really? So Did yeah, so it's it's I think it's going to be a tr- tremendous asset to the county mm-hmm. to have these country stars playing every Saturday every Saturday it's wonderful and how much are the tickets 15 euro you just pay on the door and I should imagine it's going to be a really popular night out I would say yeah yeah and they had Nathan Carter in the last that's right well. yeah, yeah they had Nathan Carter who again is another up-and-coming uh, country music star so yeah it's fabulous and Jimmy Buckley launching it the first week that's right um so it's I know that even with the with the program Country Time with Quinn you know there's a yes. great following for that music there is country music in, in the county yeah exactly and again it's a cer- certain age group that perhaps there ha- the isn't a lot of things um to do in the county or people mm. complain that there isn't everything so I just think now we're getting a fabulous mix of events that Absolutely. basically caters for every age group so there's something going yeah. on every weekend there and something for everybody yeah, every ex- age group exactly <laughs> right Yasmin thank you so much Yasmin from contemporaryliving.ie <laughs> and uh, uh, the What Song Guide check it out on Yasmin's website um, so we leave it there and we'll see you again next week. So Shinjara and Clore, Community Focus or CabinTV.com. We'll be back again next Wednesday at the same time. Um, thanks for watching the show. Have a great week. Sloan. <laughs>